Did you know you can charge your mobile with lemons? This video shows you how to do that. For this project, you need pliers and a box cutter, a bunch of nails, 2mm thick copper wire, stranded wire, and of course, lemons. 20 should do it. First of all, you need to cut the 2mm thick copper wire out of the insulation. Then cut the wire into a few small pieces with a length of about 5cm. Now it's time to prepare the lemon. You need to squish it in order to create a better flow for the juice inside it. That should be enough. So insert a copper wire and a nail into the lemon with a 3 cm gap between them. There you go, you just created a battery. The copper wire will act as the positive pull, the nail as the negative pull. So let's measure how much voltage and current it will provide. As you can see in the multimeter, the voltage is almost 1 volt. The current, however, 0.5 milliamp. That's not enough. For us to be able to charge a mobile, we need at least 4.5 volts and 10 milliamp. So let's take it one step farther and put more copper wires and nails in the lemon and see what happens. Theoretically, if we connect the copper wires with the nails like this configuration, assuming that each copper wire and nail facing each other build a single cell battery, this would be equivalent to connecting batteries in a series, which leads to summing the voltage. The final product would look like this. So now connect the positive pin of your multimeter to your positive pin of the lemon and negative to the negative. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work. So for us to be able to sum and increase the voltage, we need to have individual cells physically separated. With 5 lemons, we can get up to 4.5 volts, which is what we need to be able to start charging the mobile phone. However, we still only have the current of one lemon, and that's far less than the 10 milliamp that we need. So adding more lemons in parallel would increase the current, but we would need 100 lemons to finally reach our goal of 10 milliamp. So with that being said, we definitely need a different approach. And let's try using a stranded copper wire instead of a one single wire. Now insert the stranded wire into the lemon. The measuring shows an increase in the current of more than 200%. Since that seems to be working good, let's add more of the stranded wires, connect them together and see how much current we get. Great! We have got 5 milliamp. The reason for this is, the more copper wire you add in the lemon, the more chemical reaction takes place. The description below has more information about that. Now you can connect the lemons together as shown in the diagram. And we should get enough voltage and current to charge the mobile phone. However, since lemons are not exactly the same, you may have variation in the current output, meaning that the total current output could be less than what was expected. So you should add more lemons in parallel, just in case. Now before we can start charging the mobile, one more step needs to be done. Since smartphones don't really come with an input for lemon charger, we need to connect a USB cable to our lemon battery. So simply cut the USB cable and only connect the red wire to the positive pool and the black wire to the negative pool. That's all. Now plug in your mobile and enjoy watching it charge.
just for fun, what would it take to start your car using lemons? Well, since a small car needs around 400 amp at 12 volts to crank it, this means you would need about 960,000 lemons to start the engine. So we would better show some respect to that box in the car called the battery. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe or give a thumbs up. Salam.